Hi, so this is going to be a basic, semi-realistic kind of way that I render skin. So this is going to be the base color. I'm starting with this brown, and then I'm going to go do this sort of like darker mid-tone, which is a dark red that I'm going to be using for her mid-tones. And then I'm going to place it in places on her skin that I think um, would be darker, and then I blend it in. And then I'm going to take this sort of yellow color, and I'm going to use that as kind of like a lighter mid-tone. And I'll put that on parts of her face that I think um, would catch the light. And then I'm going to blend that in as well. Now, the reason why I chose these colors is because skin is not opaque. And especially with, um, once you start getting into the darker colors, uh, you can't just choose like a brown and then use a dark brown and then a light brown. It'll look very muddy. Um, and skin, like I said, is not opaque. So whatever's under it, like your bones and your muscles and your blood and your veins, I mean, they're going to show through. And personally, I like very warm toned skin tones. I think it's very pretty, but that doesn't mean that there are cool toned skin tones because everybody's different and things are, um, depending on where you're from, like, um, and especially like if your veins show through and whatnot, you may have blue in your skin. So, um, just keep that in mind but this is usually the base of what I start with so now I'm actually doing the shadows so I'm just going to go to a darker version of that red that I used and then um, the same thing for the um, highlight I will use just a very light version of the um, yellow that I used and um, especially with brown skin it may sound weird but yes there's yellow in, in a lot of brown skin my my brown skin has um, a lot of yellow in it and it, especially if you're in the sunlight stuff, and when it catches it, it's very like luminescent and pretty. And so that's what um, I'm doing here. I'm also keeping in mind um, that skin can also react to the environment. So I'm acting like there's sunlight coming from behind her and it's catching kind of the bottom of her chin. It's gonna catch her back. Um, it may have caught, caught a little bit on her Eyelid, um, her eyelid, and this is without makeup. This is just her skin, what it looks like without makeup. Um, also with the lips, sorry, I didn't even say anything about the lips, but usually when I do lips, I always do the top lip a little darker than the bottom lip, just to show depth. Um, so now we're gonna do a lighter skin tone, and with lighter skin, you sometimes can get away with doing the, like, like I put like a light kind of pinkish peach, and then I just did a darker shade of that, and then I'm gonna do a lighter shade just to show you kind of, it doesn't look bad. It just kind of looks a little boring, I think. It makes her look very, like, uh, just, I don't know, pale and uh, But, um, so here I'm going to take the exact same base tone. I'm not even going to change anything. All I'm going to do is just change the color of the mid-tone. Um, and on Clip Studio, all I have to do is just change line drawing. And so um, I'm just going to change it to be a little bit redder. Um, and so as you can see it just makes her look just a little bit warmer and here she's like a mermaid and then here well she's dead and then um, I just keep playing with the color wheel just to show you like how it changes and here she's like very you know like tanned so experiment and have fun and just turn that color wheel and see what you come up with okay so now we're gonna be doing a semi-realistic um, tutorial for hair and so with hair, um, you first are going to want to choose like the shape of the hair that you're going to do and also the texture of the hair. So I've chosen this sort of like Gibson Girl 1900s um, hairstyle with um, hair that has like a natural wave and bend to it. So usually what I do first is I do this sort of like base um, fill in of it. I like to cover color over the line art with hair. Um, it's just I like it better that way. Um, and then I also chose the Gibson Girl hairstyle because it is kind of naturally pretty and messy at the same time. So it's good for a quick tutorial. Right now I am showing my, um, my brushes. I actually have hair brushes that I got from a pack by Eric Anthony, I believe, on uh, Gumroad. So it's cool because it gives these sort of strokey um, impressions that I have painted multiple little strands when I have it, because if I actually did, that would take forever and that's crazy pants. Now, there are some people who do that and God bless them, I, I, I don't have the patience for that. So I use these brushes. And um, so I first sculpt out like the darker part of the hair, the mid-tones or the shadows or whatever you want to call it. And then I go to the lighter part with the exact same brush after um, blending it together. Now with hair, the cool thing with hair is that it can actually be 
any color, um, even in the real world, um, because we can dye our hair whatever we want. But I'm going kind of like with the natural brown hair for her. And when brown hair, the darker it gets, um, when it is bleached by the sun, it actually starts turning orange and not really blonde. So that's why I'm giving her highlights that are more of an orange tint than a blonde tint. Um, whereas uh, people who have lighter, like golden brown hair, their tips and their bleached hair will actually get blonde. So if you wanted to, you know, learn science of like how hair reacts to the sun and like that, that would require research. The next step is um, I start doing the flyaways. This is the best part. This is really when hair starts to like come together. I do low lights and highlights with flyaways. And this is how you give definition to the hair, but you also um, give off the texture of the hair. The, you can see that this hair is um, got some curl, but it's um, also been straightened in some parts. And it also, if you, you have to break it up because hair is multiple strands, and this also helps give the illusion that I've painted multiple strands of hair by doing this. Um, so it's always a really good thing to just do some flyaways to frame the face and also in parts that are in the distance because it really gives that effect. So um, now I am pointing that the light is coming kind of from the front and from the side. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to take an airbrush of like a golden hue and I'm going to try to sort of airbrush in a, a nice highlight. Now you can do this with uh, uh, what is it, color dodge. You can do this with overlay. You could do this with airbrush. I'm just doing it with airbrush right now to give it a quick like glowy hue. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and just uh, clean it up a little bit because some parts got a little too glowy for my taste and I want it to break up some pieces to make sure that it uh, still looks like hair. And then now I'm just gonna show um, some quick and dirty um, different styles of hair. So this is just straight hair. And pretty much what I did can very easily be done to just super straight hair. Um, you know, adding the lowlights, adding the highlights, breaking up some pieces. Um, to show definition and then also doing the flyaways because even with super straight hair the hair still breaks up in the wind as the person moves and um, it gives it just a nice like sort of body and bounce you can show how flat hair is by doing this if it doesn't have a lot of um, highlight in it if it's very like limp um, it's just a fun way to show definition in hair now with um hair that is uh, more textured or natural hair I found that like the more you just pile on the different um, like colors and textures it gives that feel because the more coiled hair is the, the less uniform it I find it is and so like I have parts and even one person's head can have multiple curls <laughs> like my head has has wavy hair and it has curly hair so um you know when it comes to like curly hair you have to start just experimenting and looking at the different strands and piling them on to see the different textures that you get